Hi, I'm Norbert Weiss from the Institute of Organic Chemistry and Biochemistry in Prague. This is a short summary of a recent study published in the journal Pain on the role of homocysteinemia in the development of peripheral neuropathy. Homocysteinemia is a metabolic disorder that affects between 5 and 7% of the general population. It is a medical condition characterized by elevated level of homocysteine in the blood. Normally, homocysteine that is produced from the metabolism of the amino acid methionine is rapidly converted into cysteine or converted back into methionine, ensuring that the level of homocysteine remains at minimum. However, when these regulations are defective, either due to genetic predispositions or deficiency in vitamin B complex, the level of homocysteine builds up which is an important risk factor for cardiovascular and neurological disorders, including peripheral neuropathy. The goal of this study was to assess experimentally the causal role of homocysteine in the development of peripheral neuropathic pain. We used a combination of in vitro assays to analyze the effect of homocysteine on ion channels involved in the processing of peripheral nociception, as well as the rat model of homocysteinemia to assess nociception in vivo. We found that the pronociceptive T-type calcium channel was upregulated when nociceptive neurons were exposed to elevated level of homocysteine. Furthermore, using recombinant T-type channels, we observed that elevated homocysteine enhances the recycling of a channel back to the cell surface via a signaling pathway that requires the phosphorylation of a channel by the protein kinase C. Moving in vivo, we observed that homocysteinemia induces mechanical allodynia that was reversed upon pharmacological inhibition of T-type channels. In conclusion, with this study, we established the causal link between homocysteinemia and the development of mechanical allodynia, which may rely on the pathological alteration of T-type calcium channels. This study is a collaboration between the Institute of Organic Chemistry and Biochemistry in Prague the Kazan Federal University in Russia and the University of Calgary in Canada.